Hi, I'm Bailey Kiley, and today I will be talking about the brain and how trauma impacts it. The brain develops from back to front and inside to out. The first to develop is our brainstem. Next comes the limbic system, and finally, our neocortex and prefrontal lobes. Each of these parts of the brain has their own specific functions and create the three brain states through which we fluctuate. We have the survival brain state in the brainstem, which is asking, am I safe? We have the emotional brain state in the limbic system asking, am I loved? And finally, we have the executive brain state in the neocortex and prefrontal lobes, which is asking, what can I learn from this? Our brainstem, the survival state, is the first part of the brain to develop. This is where our automatic functions lie and is instinctive and reflexive. This is where we go when we dive into one of the four stress responses, fight, flight, freeze, or fawn. Our midbrain is our limbic system, the emotional state. This is the center of emotions and memory. The amygdala is located here and is the alarm system of the brain. It is our gatekeeper. When the alarm is triggered, it sends us into our brainstem and into a stress response where we are unable to access our neocortex. The hippocampus is also in the limbic system. This is where memories are stored and is our internal hard drive that provides context to situations. The newest part of the human brain and the last to develop are the neocortex and prefrontal lobes, our executive state. This is our rational, logical, cognitive brain. It is where our higher level functions develop and where we regulate our thoughts and emotions. This is where we are able to learn and think rationally. Trauma negatively impacts the brain and affects the structure. Experiences build brains and the brain adapts to its environment. Our brain is a social organ that is built for relationships. Relationships are absolutely critical in brain development. If a person does not have a safe adult or positive child adult relationship to be a protective factor and buffer against adversities and the effects of trauma, the regions of the brain where emotional regulation, compassion, and empathy typically form either do not exist or do not function properly. If you are not shown kindness or empathy, you don't develop the brain circuits for them. These students may not know how to be kind, show compassion, or empathize. When the brain senses a threat, it releases cortisol and adrenaline into the body. When these chemicals are released in large doses, like they are for people who experience trauma or are consistently pumping for those living with toxic stress, the brain is altered, especially in the areas responsible for cognition, learning, and regulation. Brains in people who have experienced trauma have slowed development of the neocortex, prefrontal lobes, and executive functioning skills. Brain development in the limbic system is disrupted by trauma, which causes dysfunction in the amygdala and hippocampus. The amygdala is enlarged and more sensitive to the environment. Their brains are easily dysregulated, which brings them out of their neocortex, which is where learning and regulation take place. Stressed brains cannot learn. This is why we must regulate with our students to help them get back into their neocortex and be able to learn what we are trying to teach them. This is Bailey Colley. Thanks for watching.